a is a real number and a to the 10 minus a squared all over a to the 4 minus a squared equal to 4 and we want to find a. Here we have a to the 10 and we have a squared so I want to factor from a squared but before that you should know this power rule that x to the m plus n equal to x to the m times x to the n. By using this I can say a to the 10 is a to the 8 plus 2 minus a squared all over a to the 4 is a to the 2 plus 2 minus a squared equal to 4. In next step, I use the rule I said here. Okay, so if we apply that, it will be 8, a to the 8 times a squared minus a squared all over a squared times a squared minus a squared equal to 4. Next is that we factor from a squared, it will be a to the 8 minus 1. And in the denominator, we have a squared times a squared minus 1 equal to 4. Now we cancel a squared from both numerator and denominator. In next step, let's write a to the 8 minus 1 equal to a squared minus 1 equal to 4. Now, I consider a squared as b, I use changing variable, and then I can say a to the 8 equal to a to the 2, uh -huh. you should know this power rule that x to the m to the n equal to x to the m times n, so we can write a to the 8 as a to the 2 to the 4 minus 1 over a squared minus 1 equal to 4. Now we replace all a squared with b so we have b to the 4 minus 1 over b minus 1 equal to 4. now i want to use a famous identity to divide these two terms let me tell you two important things because it's important b to the 4 minus 1 at first i want to factorize this uh, we know that x squared minus y squared is x minus y times x plus y. So, one way to factorize it, I can say it's b squared squared minus 1. It will be b squared minus 1 times b squared plus 1. Again, I can write this as b minus 1 times b plus 1 times b squared plus 1. It's the first way we can factorize that. Second way, we know that x to the 4 minus y to the 4, let me move it here, x to the 4 minus y to the 4, we can write it as x minus y times x to the x cubed, y, x cubed plus x2y plus xy squared plus y cubed. So here, I can say it is equal to b minus 1 times b cubed plus b squared plus b plus 1. And if we multiply these two terms, it is exactly equal to this b cubed plus b squared plus b plus 1. So we factorize this by two important identities with two ways. Both of them are useful in some problems. One of them are useful in some problem. Both of them are useful in. So let's work on the rest, b to the 4 over b, b to the 4 minus 1 over b minus 1 equal to b minus 1 times b cubed plus b squared plus b plus 1 all over b minus 1 equal to 4. We cancel them, then we can say, okay, b cubed plus b squared plus b plus 1 equal to 4. Next step. We subtract 1 from both sides and then we reach b cubed plus b squared plus b equal to 3. Now let's try to find, because the degree is 3, try to find at least one answer here. b equal to 1 is obvious and it works because 1 cubed plus 1 squared plus 1 is 3. Now because it works, we take all things to one side, to left hand side, b cubed plus b squared plus b minus 3 equal to 0. And then because b equal to 1 works, 1 factor is b minus 1. Let's factorize. The next one is b squared. Then we create b cubed minus b squared. I need plus b squared, so I place plus 2b. It will be plus 2b squared minus 2b. 
I want to reach plus B, so I place plus 3. And it is our second term. Now, here, we want to analyze this. Product of two terms equal to 0. The first term is 0, or second term is 0. If the first term is 0, and be equal to 1, and we've considered that, or second term is 0. Second term is 0. We can prove it's impossible. Let me check. 4 minus 4. Yes, it's impossible. With two ways, you can say it's impossible. One way, if you use this famous identity that x plus y squared equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So we can say b squared plus 2b plus 3 equal to b squared plus 2b plus 1 plus 2. B squared plus 2b plus 1 is b plus 1 squared plus 2. It is positive and it cannot be 0. Because a is a real number, so b is also a real number. So one way is this. Another way, a solution number 2 for this part. We'll leave it as homework. You can prove it with quadratic formula. It's so much simple and general. Uh, you should calculate delta or discriminant and see delta is negative. So the only answer is b equal to 1. b was what was a squared b equal to 1. So we conclude a equal to plus minus 1. And if you consider that, if a is plus minus 1, the denominator will be plus minus 1 to the 4 minus plus minus 1 squared, which equal to 1 minus 1 equal to 0. So we prove that in real number, we don't have any answer. As homework, try it's so much simple. You should pay attention here in complex numbers. Here you can find complex numbers. B squared plus 2B plus 3 has two roots in complex numbers. Then you can find related answers for A. So try to solve for complex numbers and comment your answers below this video. Okay. If you want to learn important ideas in algebra, number theory, combinatorics, and geometry, the important formulas that you should memorize, feel free to send a message to my WhatsApp number in the description and comments. And please don't forget to subscribe. Turn on notification and like the video. Thanks for watching this video. Bye.